This is Mel Janelle from Civic Pulse News. With more human rights and individual freedoms coming under attack seemingly daily, Civic Pulse News looks at the institutions that have the longest reputation for trafficking humans. Could it be that the concept of slavery and plantations have gotten facelifts or are wearing masks? A mask that claims to help the human shadow they house against their will and profit from incessantly from cradle to grave. Welcome to the town of Falcon, located in Cumberland County, North Carolina, where over 1,000 children are in foster care and there are more children in foster care than in school, according to a recent Fayetteville Observer report. Foster care and adoption are in a state of crisis, said Brian Manis, a president and chief executive of Children's Home Society of North Carolina, a nonprofit organization founded in 1902 that provides adoption services and prevention programs. Stock photos of happy children on a makeshift sign, visually promising a new life for children coming from unsafe living conditions. But are the children really happy? Did they really come from abusive homes? Are the staff really here to help? Or do they turn a blind eye to abuse while they collect profits? Owner Joseph Leggett declined an interview from Civic Pulse News, investigative journalist. Old plantation houses are now dormitories for whom? This plantation home was named after the Williams. What is happening with all of these buildings where there's no human activity, yet taxpayers are playing to fund them? These places certainly don't look overcrowded or in crisis at all. They don't have too many children playing on the facilities. Very nice children's PlayStation, of course, no children in sight.